Hello everyone, it's good to be able to talk to you again as we get to the end of lockdown and as you can see I've brought you out into the garden today. It's such a lovely sunny day, I'm sorry if a train goes by or a dog barks, that's just life in lockdown. I hope soon to be able to meet and speak to you properly but in the meantime I thought I would catch up with news from my own lockdown experience and perhaps leave you with some thoughts for the next stage. The last time I spoke to you I was waiting to hear about a dog that I was going to walk. Do you remember? I had volunteered for an organisation called the Cinnamon Trust. They provide dog walkers for elderly people and those who are terminally ill. Of course the lockdown has meant even more people who can't get out to walk their dogs. I'm pleased to say that I now have three new friends. Lulu, she's not a looker but she is sweet nature and is a very good girl. And Archie and Wills, two ancient Dachshunds two very old boys who are intelligent and determined. They like treats, but they don't like sand. Walking the dogs has been one of the things that I've enjoyed about lockdown. And it makes me wonder if there have been part of this time that you have enjoyed and that you would like to take forward into your new normal. As before, I asked my friends and family what they had enjoyed about lockdown and would like to hold on to. Some of their thoughts were, the feeling that there's no pressure, there's always tomorrow. Saying hello to people who actually say hello back. New and creative ways of keeping in touch with friends and family. Who thought you'd be in my garden? Realising the value of friends and family. Community spirit and the kindness of neighbours. A common purpose. Time to read, I hope you have been reading. Less pollution, less traffic less noise. I've decided I want to hold on to some of these so I've written them down. I'm going to keep them in this box. This is something that you could try. Write down on a piece of paper, on several pieces of paper, as many things that you want to remember. Put them into your box or a tin or a jar. Once life goes back to normal you can dip in and remember what you enjoyed. If you need cheering up, it might help. If your life speeds up again and you want to slow it down, it might help. If you have to make a big decision or choice, it might help. Just reach in, choose one and see. I hope that as well as looking back, you're also looking forward to hugs, to haircuts, to holidays and so many simple pleasures that you might have taken for granted. You may be nervous about some of this. I am a bit. But then this morning, I heard a poem, and I believed it. Now, it's a challenging poem. It's a beautiful grown-up poem, but I think you're ready for that. On this sunny day, I would like to share it with you. It's called Everything is Going to Be All Right, and it's by the Irish poet, Derek Mahan. Everything is going to be all right. How should I not be glad to contemplate the clouds clearing beyond the dormer window? and a high tide reflected on the ceiling. They will be dying, they will be dying, but there is no need to go into that. The poems flow from the hand unbidden and the hidden source is the watchful heart. The sun rises in spite of everything and the far cities are beautiful and bright. I lie here in a riot of sunlight, watching the daybreak and the clouds flying. Everything is going to be all right.